Hello and welcome to another video from Jaffa Bright. This time we're going to be looking at this uh, this electrical inverter um, from Livian, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is a pure sign one of 600 watt with a, with a maximum of 1200 watt for the startups side of it. Um, so let's take a quick look around it. There's not a lot to it. Um, it's a metal casing, as you can see there. At the front, you've got a USB 5 volt, two USB ports there. Um, indicators for USB, a fault and power, an on and off switch, the AC outlet, um, and on the back, You've just got the uh, plus and minus for, for the power leads um, and a fan. Okay, so it's very simple to set up. Um, so in this instance, I'm gonna sort of like give a demonstration of it working with a 12 volt battery. Um, so all you need to do is you need to take these off here. Okay, um, it comes with two washers. I'm not sure if it's meant to be two or not, but uh, okay, um, I'll just sort of sandwich the cable between the two, I think. That there, put the washer on top. And that's here. I mean, like I said, there's not obviously a lot to it, but the uh, the, the main thing to watch out for, obviously, um, is to make sure you um, connect correctly the, the red and the black cables, um, otherwise you will cause some damage um, to your equipment. So, like I said, that's the only thing to really bear in mind. Just literally make sure you've got the black cable onto the black minus here, um, and the red onto the red, obviously. Okay, make sure they're tight. Um, and guess what, that's it. That's that part of it anyway. So we now need to connect this to a battery. So make sure of um, is that the plus goes onto the plus side of the battery. Um, this is very important, otherwise it will uh, damage your equipment again, like I said. Okay, so sometimes you might have a red and a black on the battery, but if this one hasn't got any um, color code in there, just make sure the, uh, the red plus goes onto the other plus. And make sure you double check that. And that goes on like so. And the other side, <clears throat> you'll see you've got the minus there. I'll just show you, you've got a minus there as well. Okay, so quite often you see a little spark, but uh, that's uh, fine, that's quite normal. Okay, so that's now um, connected and ready to go. You've now got a uh, light on the USB there. I've not got any fault and there's no power on. But if I switch it on, there you go, you've got the power. So this is now um, ready and live. Um, ready for us to, to use with some electrical appliances. Okay, so for the first test then I'll just uh, connect up a light to this. So just move the battery out of the way. Okay, just a standard bulb in there. Uh, I say standard bulb, it's a five watt LED bulb. Okay. Okay, so just switch this on. And then with any luck. Okay, so that's, uh, that works fine. Okay, for this next test, I'm gonna see if this uh, USB charge works okay. Okay, so um, the top port there's a, a fast charging one, so we'll see if that works all okay. Okay, um, with any luck we should see fast charging coming up. There we go. Okay, so I'll just try to plug in another couple of things into the uh, this a USB charger. Let's check that all works. Okay, so there you go, you've got the glowing light there, so that one's working as well. Um, power bank, and that's charging fine as well. This is still fast charging as well. Okay, so something to bear in mind, and uh, a, bit, a bit of a tip for you here, is that some of these um, come in sort of like a double socket, which um, obviously could uh, be quite a good attraction in that, but they do come at a, a higher price. Um, so something you might want to consider is that you can actually plug in an extension um, cable into this, which uh, basically then acts up as a, a normal double, uh, a normal extension cable, um, and then gives you obviously multiple um, sockets. Um, obviously the thing to bear in mind is obviously that you, you stick within your, your, your boundaries of your 600 watt or which version you go for. Um, so yeah, just sort of be mindful of what you sort of plug into it. Okay, so, so I'll plug this in, plug the uh, USB charger in as well. So then we can, uh, we can switch this on. Okay, there we go, this is our light. Um, and we've also got this still charging as well at the same time. Okay, so 
So we've got fast charging, a power bank, a PS4 controller, um, and light going on as well. Okay, so that's handling that, no bother at all. And with regards to the inverter, you can see it's, it's got these little lights on, it's got no fault. Um, and uh, quite a key point is that the fan's not going either. Yeah, another um, inverter that I had had the, um, the fan going on from the moment you switched on, uh, which might not be a problem in some circumstances, but, but obviously it is quite a noisy fan, that one. This one, however, doesn't have the fan come on until um, it's 40 degrees Celsius, uh, is what the supplier informed me. So, so yeah, you can basically run a lot of things and, and this won't kick into the fan until it hits a certain temperature, which is a really good um, benefit in my opinion. Okay, so for this test then I'm just going to see if uh, the TV works here. Okay, so that's um, the USB port in the back also working, as it's got the uh, Now TV stick in it. So that's all uh, working nicely. Okay, so I'll always I'll, I'll also try and um, see if the uh, if we can get the lamp and the USB all uh, also working from this at the same time. So there you go, that's the uh, USB charger working. And I'll just plug this in to see if that also uh, is able to kick off some light. There we go. So I'm not going to um, sort of plug in tons of stuff like hair dryers and, hair dryers and stuff to, uh, to max this out. Obviously, hair dryers are about 1500, 2000 watt, and this is uh, 600 watts, so they're not going to work. Um, but yeah, with your appliances and stuff, just sort of check, um, check what the maximum wattage is on there. Um, like for example, this USB charges um, as a maximum of 50 watts. So we know that sort of 50 on here takes away from the 600. Um, and then we sort of like add up the other different appliances as well. Um, as long as you stay within the 600, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try sort of going right up to the 600, but just sort of stay within that, you should be uh, fine to run your appliances. Okay, so I'm just gonna try a, a larger TV now. So this is a, a 60 inch TV. So we'll see how it performs with that. Okay, so as you can see, that's, uh, that's uh, working well. No problems at all. Um, okay, for this last test then, I'm just gonna um, do some printing because um, that's one of the things that shows up um, if it's a pure sign um, inverter or, or a modified one. So uh, I'll just do a printout and sort of see what that goes like. Um, I'll also plug in the laptop as well so you can sort of see that charging um, from the uh, inverter as well. Okay, so you can see that battery charging there. Just check if the uh, printer turns on. Okay, so uh, the uh, printer's all um, online now, so I can click on print. Okie dokie, there we go. So uh, this is uh, good enough quality as normal, so uh, no problems there at all. Okay, so that concludes the test. Um, it's, it's, it's performed uh, well, it's done everything that I needed it to. Uh, no complaints or problems. Um, the, the lights are on there as well. Um, something I haven't shown is this um, USB port, which I'll just do now. Um, and if I just plug this in here. Okay, so that's uh, five volts um, being kicked out of that port, um, as it says um, on the port there. So like I said, it's interesting to note though that this is actually switched off, so the so the plug socket's not working, but the USB stays on, um, so as long as uh, this is char uh, connected up to a battery. Um, so that's uh, worth noting that. Guys, to a review for this, um, like I said, it's, it's done everything that I needed it to do. Um, it's it's a nice size. It's not as, as large as some of them can be. These particular ones are 600 watt. They come in different wattage ones, um, and it is. Like I said, it's, it just does what you need to. What's really good about it, like I said, it, is that this fan isn't on all the time. It comes on um, when it starts uh, warming up in there. So obviously that's to help protect the, the internal components. Um, so so when, the, when it's not that temperature, you've not got a noisy sound, a, a fan going off. Um, and, and to be honest, actually, when I have had it sort of like at a warmer temperature, I haven't really noticed the, the, the fan sound. So it is 10 times better than um, a previous one I've had, which uh, has been a very uh, noisy fan. I should also say, 
um, about this video is that all the power that's um, stored inside this battery has come from um, um, solar panels, um, which I've uh, recently installed. So um, get some um, free some free energy from the sun to get it stored in here, and then you can sort of see how it converts to work from this into your everyday appliances. So um, so yeah, I've got another video on that. So uh, please do check that out as well. That's a, that'd be a really interesting one to um, watch. But yeah, like I said, it's quite basic in a sense of it's just on and off, and you've got your ports there. But it does exactly what you need to. Um, so this is a really brilliant buy. One of the, the cheaper ones out there on the market. Um, so yeah, feel free to check that out. I've uh, put a link to it in my description. Yeah, any questions, please put them below. Um, other than that, hopefully you'll join me for another video. Um, so just subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.